here at Wembley, an ocean of fans descending upon the stadium for what promises to be an absolutely riveting FA Cup final. It is Chelsea, they face Liverpool, and it's coming up live on EA TV next. At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Chelsea taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. And Goro Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And potentially a real handful in attack today, Raheem Sterling. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Thank you, Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game. A match that should be chock full of talking points. Liverpool get it going. Thiago. Nunez. Now Mo Salah. Well read to win possession back. Harvey Elliott. And a good-looking pass. And Thiago. And keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Kukureya. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who is going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, he's very much a confidence player. At the moment, his confidence must be high. Three goals in the last three games. And I think he's got every chance of scoring another one today. Alert defending. Havertz. Kai Havertz. It is now with Jorginho. Superb block. Darwin Nunez. And Diaz has it. Disappointing pass. That'll be a Liverpool ball. Fabinho. This is Salah. Elliot. Not showing good patience. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. James. Conte now. Oh, a nice looking pass. And a decent save. Full credit.
It's a short corner. Conte. Nicely saved. They take it short. Sterling crossing. And it wasn't taxing for the keeper. Alexander Arnold. Out for a Liverpool throw. Fabinho an important interception and they know they need to stop him superb block on the back of the ball from the flank Trying to deliver it accurately. The clearance wasn't decisive. James. Now with Sterling. An incisive pass. And a goal for Chelsea! They hit the front in the final. How important will that be? Well, as you can see again, Sterling plays the perfectly weighted pass beyond the defenders, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Liverpool get the ball moving again how will they react Andrew Robertson here is Thiago on the ball Aspiliqueta Sterling has it. Mount. Well, that's one for them to pursue. And disappointing for the players of the centre that it didn't reach them. Salah. And the referee's whistle. That will conclude the first half here at Wembley. So they get the ball rolling in the second half and Chelsea hoping to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Throw-ins given. Well, the referee took note of the earlier incident and now issues the yellow card. He has time to play it over. Well, he must get rid of the ball. Elliot. Now Mo Salah. Harvey Elliot. Tiago. This could square the game, but the keeper has his day. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance, and really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save.
And how about the short corner? And it's Salah with the cross. He's an effective clearance. Kai Havertz. Havertz. Liverpool doing well to win back possession. Artur. Salah. And he read it superbly. Conte. Sterling. And return to Havertz. And he read it well defensively. Thiago. Nunez. Oh, big chance. Salah. Can he do? Koulibaly comes out on top in that joust. Jorginho. And into the last 20 minutes. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Mount. In position. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Thiago. Otto has it. Trent Alexander Arnold. Otto. Andrew Robertson. Here is Thiago. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. They'll try to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Jorginho. Just ten minutes to go. Well, far from the ideal pass. Rhys James. This is Aspili Quetta. And Golo Conte. Five minutes remaining. And one thing is certain no one is leaving because it's still close. Well, the big question with the final whistle fast approaching is this. Can Chelsea see it out? Stuart, what have you made of their performance today? Well, they need to hold on here. Not long left now, but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point. And I just can't see them conceding now. This will be a really good win if it stays like this. Luis Diaz. Here is Thiago. And Diaz has it. Andrew Robertson. And totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Conte. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment.
full marks to the entire team and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy they've been brilliant in this competition and so have the fans they've really got behind their team they've played a big part in this win just look at those faces in the crowd great stuff They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans and these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time